Welcome to the AndroidClone.com review of the new SmartPad tablet. This tablet is a little different from other ones in that it does not have an overclocked via CPU of 350 MHz. It has a 600 MHz CPU with 128 MB of RAM. As a re result, it is quite fast and let me show you what it is able to do. I have a bunch of AVI files on my USB and I'll play one of them for you. Give you an idea of how snappy this thing is. As you can see, it is pretty snappy with that. And it's not just with the videos, but everything as well. The touch screen is quite responsive. Let's thumb around through it real quick. And unlike other tablets, it has a lot of connectivity as well. Mini USB, HDMI, a USB headset. Over here on the side have the micro SD. This cover acts as, also as a tool to eject it. I'll show you. And the SD card is now able to be removed. On the side, you have escape, volume, menu, and the power switch. Turn it off, you just have to hold it in one direction to get the menu. Another interesting thing about it is the accelerometer. Let me show you that with the game Labyrinth Light. See, just by tilting the tablet, I'm able to move this little steel ball. And see if I can do it. Ah, oh well. And just to navigate through it, just use the escape key on the side. In comparison to other tablets that are available, this is a l the hardware on it is definitely better. It does not have an external or does not have an internal webcam, but screen size on it is in comparison with the other ones, seven inch diagonal, and it is pretty snappy though. All right, thank you.